Asia is the largest continent, home to one-third of Earth's land and nearly two-thirds of all humans. Across this vast expanse of land, we find dozens of countries and an unbelievable variety of landscapes. Let's take a look at the highest point in each of these countries, in order from lowest to highest. As always, I'll be doing my best with pronunciations, so bear with me. With that said, let's get into it. We start things off with the low-lying island nation of the Maldives, one of many countries worldwide threatened by rising sea levels. Its highest point is a mere 5 meters above sea level, found at the 8th hole of Vilangili Island's golf course. This high point, humorously dubbed Mount Vilangili, was recently certified in 2013. Heading out to the deserts of Western Asia, Qatar is up next with its highest point of Karain Abu al-Bal. At 103 meters above sea level, this small hill is found in the south of the country and is relatively accessible given the area's remote desert conditions. It's located just west of the highway which heads for the UAE. A bit northwest is the island nation of Bahrain, whose highest point is the Mountain of Smoke, or Jabal ad dukan in Arabic. Centrally located in the country, the surroundings are pretty built up, with nearby gas plants and an airbase. A road runs right to the top of the 134 meter hill, but military operations have placed the area under considerable security. Jumping over to our first Southeast Asian country, we find the city-state of Singapore and its highest point, Bukit Timah. It's located in an expansive area of hilly nature reserves in the center of the country and is a popular hiking spot. The high point of about 164 meters is marked at the summit with a boulder. Kuwait brings us back to the Middle East, where we run into a somewhat unclear high point. Many avid high pointers claim it to be an unnamed point near the westernmost corner of the country. This area has a highest elevation of around 306 meters, but the exact point where this elevation is reached is unclear, in an area of largely unchanging prominence and remote desert. Traveling west to the Levant takes us to Palestine, whose highest point is Nabi Yunus, located in the southern city of Halhul. This high point isn't very well documented and reaches an elevation of about 1,030 meters above sea level. Given its location in an urban area, visitors can drive directly to the summit, which has a modest residential setting. Next up is Bangladesh, a South Asian country which brings us a major high point dispute. Many sources claim it to be Saka Hafong, a mountain on the border with Myanmar that reaches 1,052 meters. Others point to two peaks entirely within Bangladesh, those being Tazing Dong and Keokradong. Interpret this dispute as you choose. I've linked various sources in the description if you want to read more. Back in the Levant is Israel, whose highest point is the 12,004 meter Mount Maron, found in the north of the country a few miles south of Lebanon. The summit is home to a large military facility, and as such, reaching the true peak is very difficult. The Israeli National Trail almost makes it to the summit though, and it offers several amazing viewpoints. Our next Southeast Asian country is Cambodia, where we find the Cardamom mountain range and the country's highest point, Phnom Aral, at 1,813 meters above sea level. Located in a rural area and protected as a wildlife sanctuary, there's a small Buddhist shrine located at the summit to greet visitors. Heading even farther southeast to the island of Borneo brings us to the small country of Brunei. In the exclave district of Temburong is the country's highest point, Bukit Pagon, which is located on the border with Malaysia and reaches an elevation of 1,850 meters. Its remote jungle setting is home to a variety of endemic species, and also makes for a somewhat difficult ascent. And once again, we're ping-ponging back to the Middle East. Jordan is next in line with its highest point of Jabal Umm ad dami It's just a couple kilometers north of the Saudi Arabia border and climbs to an elevation of 1,854 meters. The mountain is part of the picturesque Wadi Rum, a popular tourist destination in Jordan known for its striking desert landscapes. Keeping us in the Arab world is the United Arab Emirates, whose highest point is actually a sub-peak of a larger mountain that has its summit in Oman. The west summit of Jebel Jais is the highest point in the UAE at 1,892 meters, while the true summit in Oman reaches 1,934 meters. From the UAE side, a paved road takes visitors most of the way to the top. Our first East Asian country is South Korea, where we arrive at our first volcano on the list as well. On the island of Jeju is Halasan, a shield volcano which last erupted over a thousand years ago. It reaches an elevation of 1,947 meters, has several hiking trails, and is a popular tourist destination for visitors to Jeju. Cyprus brings us out to the Mediterranean. While Cyprus is geographically in Asia, the country aligns itself with Europe sociopolitically. In any case, its highest point is the 1,951 meter Mount Olympus, located in the Trudos mountain range. The UK's Royal Air Force operates a radar station at the summit, so the true high point is inaccessible by the public. 
Back in South Asia, we arrive at another island nation, Sri Lanka. Among the mountainous terrain in the middle of the country is its highest point, Pitaratalagala, which rises to an elevation of 2,524 meters above sea level. The summit is home to an important military communications center, and visiting the peak requires prior approval from the government. Out on the mainland of Southeast Asia once again, Thailand's high point is next in line. Among the rugged Shan Hills in the northwest corner of the country is Doi Intanon, reaching an elevation of 2,565 meters. This mountain summit is quite friendly to visitors, offering facilities for tourists and a road which runs straight to the top, in addition to an Air Force radar station. The secretive nation of North Korea's highest point is the 2,744 meter high Pektu Mountain, located on the border with China. Pictou is an active stratovolcano and features a stunning crater lake at the summit. Visitors to the mountain usually come from the Chinese side, although the North Korean side offers a funicular system to take visitors to the summit. Returning to the Middle East yet again, Syria's highest mountain is Mount Hermon, or Jabal el Sheikh. This 2,814 meter peak is shared by Syria and Lebanon, and has been an important locale in various religions for thousands of years. The summit is home to a United Nations Disengagement Observer Force position, the highest permanently occupied one in the world. Laos takes us back to Southeast Asia. This mostly mountainous country reaches its highest point a few dozen miles north of the Thai border at the peak of Phu Bia. Reaching 2,819 meters, it's relatively unexplored compared to the previous peaks in this video. However, in 2021, the local government announced its plans to transform it into a tourist destination. The Philippines is our next island nation on the list, an overall quite mountainous archipelago. The highest peak here is Mount Apo, located on the island of Mindanao, just a bit west of Davao City. It's a potentially active volcano and soars to 2,954 meters above sea level. It's one of the country's most popular hiking destinations and offers several challenging routes to the summit. The relatively new country of Timor-Leste is up next, with its highest mountain peak of Tatamailao. It's found in the middle of the country and reaches an elevation of around 2,963 meters. The mountain is a pilgrimage site and has a statue of the Virgin Mary on the summit for those who made the voyage. Saudi Arabia's highest mountain is the 3,000 meter Jabal Sada, found in the southwest of the country not far from Yemen. The area is built up and has a cable car to take visitors to the summit. However, some high pointers claim that Jabal Firwa, about 100 kilometers southeast, is the true highest point at 3,002 meters. Also on the Arabian Peninsula is Oman. In the Al Hajar Mountains on the Gulf of Oman is the country's highest peak, Jebel Shams, which reaches 3,018 meters above sea level. The summit is home to another military base, and as such is restricted to the public. However, the south summit is accessible and the entire area offers breathtaking canyon landscapes. Lebanon brings us the highest mountain of the Levant with its 3,088 meter Kunat Asada, found in northern Lebanon. The mountain is in a transition zone between the coastal Mediterranean climate and the inland deserts. It frequently snows on the mountain, creating an incredible clash of Mars-like landscapes and snow-covered fields. Turkmenistan is our first Central Asian nation so far, with a relatively modest high point compared to the rest of its stand neighbors. Airi Baba, at 3,139 meters and located on the far eastern border with Uzbekistan, is the country's highest point. Given the region's already high elevation, the mountain isn't extremely prominent, but it's still a beautiful peak. Over in Vietnam, we find the highest mountain of the Indochinese peninsula, Phan Si Pan. This peak climbs to an elevation of 3,143 meters above sea level and is in northern Vietnam, not far from the Chinese border. It's a popular tourist destination, offering a cable car ride to the peak and various guided hiking routes. Iraq's highest mountain is located in the Kurdistan region. Chika Dar, on the border with Iran in the northern Zagros Mountains, reaches 3,611 meters above sea level. Iran recently built a military outpost on the mountain, and landmines are a significant danger in the region, making this peak a tricky climb for high pointers. Down in Yemen is the Arabian Peninsula's highest point, Jabal an Nabi Shuaib. This mountain is in western Yemen, just 25 kilometers from the capital Sana'a, and looms over the city at 3,666 meters above sea level. A road runs to the summit, which is home to a mosque, but sources say that being allowed to ascend the mountain can be difficult. Japan brings us an incredibly world-famous and picturesque high point, Mount Fuji. This active stratovolcano last erupted in the 1700s and soars to a height of 3,776 meters above sea level. It's a cultural icon of Japan and is featured in countless works of art. Multiple roads and trails are found on the slopes of the mountain, and many thousands of visitors make their way to the summit annually.
Sticking in East Asia, we move down to Taiwan, whose highest mountain is Yushan. At 3,951 meters above sea level, it's found in the middle of the island and is part of a mountain range with the same name. It's protected as part of Yushan National Park and offers various multiple-day hiking routes to the summit with rest cabins along the way. Armenia in the Caucasus region is geographically in Asia but sociopolitically aligned with Europe. Its highest point is Mount Aragats, a volcano which reaches 4,090 meters in elevation. A road makes its way up a significant portion of the mountain, with climbing routes available for visitors who want to go the rest of the way to the summit. The other Caucasus nations of Azerbaijan and Georgia were discussed in the Europe High Points video. On the island of Borneo is Malaysia's highest point, Mount Kinabalu. Towering over the jungle below at an elevation of 4,095 meters, it's located in the state of Sabah in the northern corner of Borneo. Climbing the mountain isn't extremely challenging for healthy individuals, but visitors are required to be accompanied by a guide due to national park regulations. The large landlocked nation of Mongolia is next. Its highest point is Kuitan Peak, a mountain located at the western end of Mongolia on the border with China. It's also just a few kilometers away from the tri point with Russia and China. Also known as Friendship Peak, its elevation is 4,356 meters above sea level. Finally, returning to Central Asia, Uzbekistan's highest point is Khazret Sultan, found on the border with Tajikistan in the southeastern part of the country. Its elevation of 4,643 meters is quite exceptional, but its prominence is only 564 meters due to its location in a larger mountain range in an already higher elevation area. Russia is split between the European and Asian continents. The highest point on the Asian side of Russia is Klutchevskaya Sopka, a highly active volcano on the Kamchatka Peninsula of Far East Russia. Reaching about 4,750 meters, it's erupted several times in the last decade, posing a significant threat to climbers at an already dangerous high point. Returning to Southeast Asia, we find Indonesia, whose highest point is technically located in Oceania geographically. Puncak Jaya, on the island of New Guinea, rises to an elevation of 4,884 meters, making New Guinea the highest island in the world. The slopes of the mountain have several glaciers, but rising temperatures are threatening their stability. Another transcontinental nation, Turkey, is next up on the list. The highest mountain on its Asian side is also the highest of the whole country, Mount Ararat. At 5,137 meters in elevation, this impressive volcanic peak is held sacred and has been depicted in many works. Although it's found in Turkey today, the mountain is considered a national symbol of Armenia and is on its coat of arms. We've arrived at the final 10 high points, and the elevations are about to skyrocket. In 10th place is Iran's Mount Damavand, the highest mountain in all of Western Asia at 5,609 meters above sea level. This volcano hasn't erupted in thousands of years, but is potentially active, towering in the distance northeast of Iran's capital city, Tehran. Myanmar brings us another regional highest point. Kakabo Razi, on the border with China at an elevation of 5,881 meters, is Myanmar's highest point as well as all of Southeast Asia. It's part of the Greater Himalayan Mountain Range and is protected as part of a national park, encompassing a wide range of climate zones. Kazakhstan's highest mountain takes us over 7,000 meters for the first time. Khan Tengri, found at the southeastern corner of the country at the tripoint with Kyrgyzstan and China, reaches 7,010 meters above sea level. This mountain is dwarfed by ones later in the video, but is still higher than Argentina's Aconcagua, the tallest outside of Asia, demonstrating the extreme elevations found in the Asian highlands. Only 20 kilometers south of here is Kyrgyzstan's highest point, Genghis Chokusu, at a much higher elevation of 7,439 meters. It's the highest mountain of the Tian Shan range, which runs across much of the country and its neighbors. Like many of the mountains in this top 10, it's a dangerous peak to ascend, with 11 climbers having died during one expedition in 1955. War-torn Afghanistan is up next, with its highest point being found at the summit of Noshak. This mountain is the second highest in the Hindu Kush range, coming in at 7,492 meters above sea level, and is located on the eastern border with Pakistan. The easiest approach to climb this mountain is from the east in Pakistan. We've got just five more peaks to go. Next up is Tajikistan and its highest point of Ismoil Samoni Peak. This mountain's summit has an elevation of 7,495 meters and is the highest in all of Central Asia. Before Tajikistan's independence, it was the Soviet Union's highest mountain, and no joke, it was known as Communism Peak for many decades. Traveling south to Bhutan takes us to Gankar Puensum, which is the highest unclimbed mountain in the world at 7,570 meters above sea level. This mountain remains unclimbed due to Bhutan's complete ban on mountaineering, imposed in 2003 out of respect for local spiritual customs which hold many of the country's mountains as sacred. 
The final three mountains on this list are, interestingly, the three highest in the world. In third place is India's Kanchenjunga, which takes a 1,000 meter leap in elevation from Bhutan to 8,586 meters. Found in northeast India on Nepal's eastern border, it was thought to be the world's tallest mountain for a few years, while the heights of other Himalayan mountains were being researched. Pakistan is home to the world's second highest mountain, the famous K2. Located in Pakistan-administered Kashmir, it reaches a peak elevation of about 8,611 meters. Its name comes from early mapping of the Karakoram mountain range, when it was labeled as K2. It's also the deadliest of the world's tallest mountains, killing one out of every four people who attempt the treacherous climb. And of course, the highest mountain in Asia and the entire world is shared by Nepal and China, Mount Everest. Undoubtedly the world's most famous mountain, it soars above the rest of Earth at a staggering elevation of 8,849 meters. Named for Sir George Everest, the Surveyor General of India from 1830 to 1843, Everest himself opposed the name. Other names for Mount Everest include Sagarmatha in Nepali, Chomalungma in Tibetan, and Zumalangma Feng in Chinese. Hundreds of mountaineers attempt to climb Everest every year, with a handful of people dying in the process yearly. It is truly one of Earth's most fantastic natural wonders, and continues to inspire generations of high pointers and mountaineers worldwide. That's all for our journey across Asia and its many national high points. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you enjoy geography content, and I'll see you in the next video soon.